Everyone was affected by the war. Every corner of the world was touched. The human spirit drove us to fight where no one had dared to go before. Whether it was the mountains of the Alps or the skies above, we found a way. They said this would be the war to end all wars. But I wonder if there will ever be an end to human ambition and our will to destroy. Are you all right? We're ready for you to cut the cake. Wow, these are incredible. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. <laughs> you looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad, take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. Alla vittoria! O tutti accampati! Nemico cadere da campo! While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing this story makes me worry for you. Don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Aditi were proud volunteers. We would have done anything for Italy. A church was sitting at the base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first. All that was left after the flame troops were some full soldiers. After that, the church would be ours. There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Matteo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there. Matteo and the entire Italian offensive was in danger as long as that artillery gun remained. So I had to take it down. The only way to ensure that my men were safe was to blow up the gun itself. was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that was my next target. I take down the last man. But then I hear a noise that I will never forget. They were targeting Matteo's unit below me. 
So I do the only thing I can. It was me against an entire enemy bomber squadron. Those men were killed, our advance would be completely altered, and I would have lost my tail. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. If those men were killed, our advance would be completely altered, and I would have lost my tail. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. When I got up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. Oh God, Matteo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. 
It was my only choice. I had to find Matteo. He could have been anywhere. We could hear them before we saw them. Armored vehicles coming from the enemy fort. But you didn't have your equipment anymore. There were crates of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with. Every part of me wanted to get out of the trenches. But I could hear Italian yelling. I knew my friends were trapped. Everywhere I looked, too late. I felt alone among ghosts. After a while, I couldn't even look at the bodies. He had to have made it to the fort. There were two ways into the fort. I could either go through the underground tunnels, or above ground by circling around the back. Not through the front? I no longer had my armor. It was impossible. I don't know how. I just knew Matteo wasn't there. I still think about that field, every day. I'd almost stopped looking, started giving in to the hope that Matteo had escaped. And then... No! No! He never got older. And here I am, still. Who decides such things? Buon compleanno, Matteo.